Hello Pisces, this is Yola from Kitchen Witchin Tarot and I'm here for your Yuletide reading. Yule is all about the return of the light, where we need to spread a bit of light, where our shadows are, what we need to release, what energies we need as we move into the new year. Um, and as ever, I always start my reading with a goddess card and the goddess that I drew for you is Sarasvasti. And Sarasvasti is the goddess of the arts, of creativity. So it would speak to me that maybe you need to be uh, thinking a little creatively around your life, particularly if you're feeling stuck anywhere. Um, and that can be through creativity, the arts, um, or it could literally be just thinking outside of the box. Um, and the first card that I, I drew from the tarot, which is the everyday witch tarot, uh, is the Page of Swords. And this is about what needs to be brought to completion or purged before the end of the year. Um, it's quite a risky card, I always think, with the Page of Swords. Uh, maybe a risk on a mental level. So maybe you've not been looking after your mental health very well or for circumstances your mental health has been affected. Um, it can be related to a problem with a younger member of the family. It could be a child. It could be... Um, just a younger person that you know. Um, and there's also indicates a kind of an overconfidence without looking at the bigger picture of what's actually happening as well. So it kind of feels that you need to do a little bit of introverted time and kind of look at what's been going on um, mentally for you over the last year and see what areas that you can actually release. Now, we can't always release um, what's going on for us, but sometimes we have some control. So a bit of, bit of reflection and a bit of time. Um, and I know this because the second card that I drew for you, which is your hope to carry you through into the new year, is the High Priestess. And she is all about going inside, being quiet. It's a very quiet card. It's about your intuition. It's about de developing your nighttime self as well as your daytime personality and trusting in your unconscious, trusting in the fates, trusting in the spirits. Um, it very much speaks of taking some time out for yourself. Um, and if you meditate, to do more of that. Um, and meditation can be done in many ways. It can be done the classic way of sitting and and just breathing and, you know, really bring yourself back into the, your center. It can also be done in yoga. It can be done in movement. It can be done through walking. It can be done through cooking. Um, there's many, many ways for, to meditate and find that sort of time for yourself just to go a bit deeper into the un unconscious and, and a bit of inner care. So where we started with that kind of what needs to be purged and this kind of mental battle that's kind of been going on within you, um, you then move into your hope um, being that you do need to spend a bit of time in reflection and a bit of time on self-care. We then moved into the main influence or energy uh, to work with in the coming new year and I got the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Wands is all like kind of stirring up energy it's like yeah you've been a bit procrastinating not anymore <laughs> so there's movement there's action there's travel there's things happening really quickly there's sort of following through on things that you might have started uh, no procrastination with this card you know and it's also kind of saying to you maybe take a bit of time start planning your new goals you know, what is it that you want to do? How can you free yourself from this kind of mind trap that you've been in? And actually taking that time, as the high priestess says, to just kind of go in, relax, connect in with your kind of inner self will help you then to sort of look at where you can move forward. But as your main influence for the year ahead, the eight of wands would tell me there's a lot going to be starting to happen for you, Pisces. Um... Then I drew a card to see what's sleeping in you, what is starting to awaken at Yule. And I got 
the six of swords you've got a lot of swords energy on this um table is what i would say sword energy is all a kind of about mental kind of energies um and the six of swords traditionally is about letting go of something so what's sleeping in you is something is the inability to let go and what's going to awaken is the ability to now start to let go and that will help uh, by what will help you in that in that state is is taking that time to just sort of go inward and kind of assess where you're at and where you want to be moving towards again it's quite a travel card there's two you know the eight of wands and the uh, six of swords both have kind of indicators towards travel um, and releasing the old releasing that which does not serve you and often we don't even know what that is until we take that time to go inward and actually reflect on what has happened over the um over the year but again what's sleeping in you is this you know you've kind of what it feels like is that you've been quite stagnant maybe stuck in your head about something what's awakening now is the change is the movement is the letting go of that um and what is to be reborn in you another swords a knight of swords this time is ambition is all about ambition is about drive it's about success it's about a determination to achieve so i feel after you all you may start to feel those cogs starting to move starting to be a bit more focused on what you want and how you're going to succeed it and it certainly feels quite auspicious in terms of um and that and then I ask for a blessing from the goddess, from your spirit guides, your ancestors or whoever it is that you connect with in your spirit. And I got the beautiful wheel of fortune. So for me, it's just saying, yeah, I'm, you know, spirit is saying to me is it recognizes that you've been in quite a mentally difficult place. Um, but that this was part of your process. This was part of your karma. Um, this was part of your destiny. You had to go through this in order to move yourself forward onto this next state, um, next step. And it's also sort of saying to me, you are literally at a turning point at this point. You know, you have you've kind of been down at the bottom of the wheel and you're about to kind of come up onto the top and you are blessed with good luck. So that's really lovely. I then drew a uh, crystal card for you and the crystal I asked basically what crystal would be a good crystal for you to work with if you needed some energetic help and the crystal is Thulite which is spelled T-H-U-L-I-T -T. Um, and this uh, helps us to feel the joy and happy energy deep within our souls so if you've been feeling a bit low it does feel like you've been very trapped in your head then maybe this crystal can kind of help you move through that. Um, I then finally drew a yoga card, so a position in yoga that you can use that might be able to help you, uh, particularly if you're going into a stilling place, a still place in your mind in order to reassess where you are. Um, and the card and the uh, card that I drew, I'm not sure you can see that on here, but it is the corpse pose. And I might need my glasses for this one. <laughs> I'm a bit blind. Um, so, my body is rested, my mind is calm, my heart is at peace, my spirit soars. So, often this position is used between postures, um, and it's a resting pose that allows the body and mind to absorb the benefits of any previous poses. Um, from this centre of rest and relaxation, you will be well equipped to face your day. Um, provides complete relaxation, rejuvenates the body and slows respiration and the heart rate. So again, I do feel like you've really been sort of feeling quite trapped in your mind. Maybe your mental health hasn't been good. I think a lot of people are feeling like that at the moment. We've had a really difficult few years. Um, so it really feels like there's a real calling for you to go inward, to think a bit creatively about how you're living your life look at the areas that are causing you mental stress and see if there's anything you can do about them and part of that will be meditation part of that will be rest part of that will be recuperation but 
there's certainly uh, something that's just about to awaken in you. <laughs> um, and I'd be interested to see and hear what that is. Um, so Pisces, that is your reading for you. Hopefully I will see you in January um, for our New Year's readings. Ooh. <laughs> if you would like a private reading, all my details are down below. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> um, equally, there's some really nice handmade uh, cosmetics and remedies on my Etsy shops. Again, all the information is down there and all the cards that I've used today, etc, etc. Please like, subscribe, share, tell people about the work I do. This is a, a new way of me sharing this spiritual path. So it would be nice to be able to reach as many people and help as many people as I can. I wish you all a very happy Yule and all of my love is coming at you right now. Can you feel it? Mwah! Ha, 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 ha.